What was it like being in the hole and getting clean? Being dope sick's the worst because like how long were you dope sick for? Almost two weeks straight. Like okay, and it lasts for longer than that. But like two weeks straight, I wasn't sleeping more than an hour, maybe two. And it's like the fidgets, the sweats, like nonstop. Like the first, no joke, the first four or five days, you don't sleep more than 10, 15 minutes a night, and then you're just a zombie all day. And like the only thing that I noticed that would work for me when I was dope sick is like getting sunlight and just like sweating that shit out. Like the CDUs are freezing, so you're just in there freezing, dope sick, just like literally just shitting on yourself, throwing up, like the worst you could imagine. They came and saw me the first two days and they almost took me to the hospital because they're like, you can't die from that stuff, but they, I was in really bad shape. Wow. And uh, you know, I had like a street drug habit on a four yard in prison, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, after a couple weeks and I get sober, now I'm just like, so grateful to be sober, but like, all right, now I got to get out of this thing. And then after they told me I was staying in there for a while, because it's all like what you tell yourself. At first, I just wanted to get out of the hole so bad. And then after like a couple months, I was like, this is probably the best thing that could happen to me. You know what I'm saying? What you resist persists. Because here's the deal. Now I don't have any of these prison politics getting in my ear before I go home. You know what I'm saying? I don't have all this stuff that like I have to unwire when I get out on the street.